Greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the three methods to describe the direction of a vector, since you know what a vector is. So stay tuned for this video. So today we're going to be talking about the direction of the vector. Practically just means where is the vector going or where is the vector headed. So here we've got three methods to describe or to actually explain the direction of a vector. So here let's take for an example. We've got the vector titled F1, which is 10 newtons at 30 degrees above the positive x-axis. So this is a Cartesian plane with a y-axis and an x-axis. So this tells us that this vector is 10 newtons. So the magnitude of F1 is 10 newtons. And then it tells us the direction is what? Is 30 degrees above the positive the positive x-axis so let's look at the positive x-axis where do we find the positive x-axis in a Cartesian plane so in a Cartesian plane we find the positive x values here we can find one here we can find two we can find three so this is basically a graph so here we're going to actually take a protractor to be able to determine actually where is 30 degrees above this axis so here's our protractor here and then we're just going to position it here make sure that it aligns it's 90 degrees aligns with the line of the Cartesian plan so let's look at the 30 degrees you can see that moving from here we can actually move upwards 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 until this line which is 30 degrees so now we know <coughs> now we know that this is vector f1 which is what which is 30 degrees so let's drop the, the protector away for a moment and then put a line actually here to represent the vector so the line must start from here this is the starting point you see so this is actually what the vector here okay so this means that the angle here is 30 degrees so this means that this is what 30 degrees above 30 degrees above the x axis which is positive the positive side of the x axis so the magnitude of this vector is 10 newtons so now we know that the magnitude and the direction what is the magnitude and the direction so this is actually the graphical representation of vectors so let's look at the second one the second one it says f2 so here we've, we're having f2 which is 8 newtons at 12 degrees left of the negative y axis so let's first determine what is the negative left y axis okay so let's look this is the positive values of the x-axis this is the negative so we are going to actually be dealing with this area which I'm marking with green this is what we are going to be dealing with that's that will be our point of reference so it must be what it must be 12 degrees left hand side so the left hand side is actually this side this quadrant therefore we're actually going to take our protractor again to be able to determine so this time we're actually going to double the protractor so that uh, so that we have doubled the measurement downwards. So we're actually going to double it in this way. So actually, uh, when you are going to go by a projector, it will be only one half of this. So you just have to tilt it so that it faces downwards because it's practically the same thing, which is mirrored. So here, we make sure that this aligns and then we check out where is 12 degrees. So if we're going to check out here, let me actually extend the page. So if we're going to check out here from these zero degrees, and move this is 10 this is the first which is 10 and then this is 12 this is 12 now we've already constructed now we already know that we already found where our vector uh, is directed so here what we're going to do we're going to draw the vector using a line from the point of reference and making sure that is is 12 degrees you see this is actually 12 degrees so now we know that this is 12 degrees and the magnitude of the vector it says 8 newtons so this is this would be what would be 8 newtons now we've already drawn the vector so let's actually ignore these numbers the presence of these numbers yes yes in this way so here you've already represented your vector therefore you have the angle here is 12 degrees so they say that it is 12 degrees 
the, to the left of the negative y-axis. So this is the negative y-axis, and then this is 12 degrees away from it. Now we have to construct vector number three using the graph. So here we have F3. So this is F3, which is five newtons at 65 degrees above the negative x-axis. So we're going to be looking at the negative x-axis. So the negative x-axis is this part of the x-axis. This part which I'm marking with blue, it is called the negative because that's where we find the negative values of the x-axis. Therefore, we have to put our, our, our protractor there and measure 65 degrees above so that you can find the direction of this vector number three. So we do what? We do the very same thing. We take our protractor. We take our protractor and after we take our protractor, we are going to be able um we just align it make sure that this line of the protector aligns with the with the y axis and the x axis of your cartesian plane let's look at where is 65 degrees we start at zero and then we go upwards we go upwards this is now 30 degrees 40 50 60 and 65 is just in between here exactly that is where you find the 65 degrees above the negative part of the x-axis therefore now we can actually remove our protractor since it's of no use right now so now we just draw that vector vector number three we draw the vector from this same point we draw it and make sure that it is it is according to this angle which is 65 degrees now we already represented our 65 degrees so this is what this is how you represent in a graphical way how do you uh, this is how you represent the vectors graphically so so thank you for watching next time we're going to be talking about the second method of representing a vector